three lights, all tungsten quartz lights, all of similar uh, wattage, but of vastly different performance and vastly different price. What's the difference between these? This is a Lowell Pro, which is a 200 watt light. This is a, an Airy uh, Junior 150, 150 watt light. This is a Datotech light, which has a 150 watt bulb in it as well. Vastly different units, very different technology behind them, and thus the different prices and different performance. The Lowell light, you have a cup, a reflector, and it has a lens in the front, which is sort of a dimpled surface. It's a very rudimentary just surface lens that just stops the light from being so harsh. And through the back of that cup, the bulb protrudes. And when you adjust the spot flood control, you're just moving that entire reflector and the lens in front of it uh, away in and out from the bulb, which is a very basic kind of control of the light. You have on the Airy, it has a reflector that's mounted behind the bulb, which stands up. And that entire assembly moves together while the, reflect, the, the, while the uh, lens, which is a Fresnel lens, which is a focusing uh, glass, is stationary in front. And the bulb and reflector move relative to it. And finally, in the Dato light, it has their own patented technology, which has, again, a reflector and a bulb that stands up, but then two condenser lenses. One, and a condenser lens is just a big sort of a magnifying glass, but the one condenser lens is right in front of the bulb and travels with the bulb and reflector as they move, and the other condenser lens is up in front and is stationary, so that the two lenses interact as the spot flood control the system. What does all this mean? Well, let's look at the different performance of the three lights. First off, the Lowell, which again is by far the least expensive light, puts out a nice big splash of light. Here it is at its spot, and you have a two to one range in the angle of spread of the spot to flood. And from its brightest spot, that's hard to see on the video, but from its brightest spot to where it drops off, it just sort of just flutters away, just floats away in strength. And the same is even true in flood. You have a much brighter spot in the center than you have in the edge. And uh, even trying to control it with the barn doors, it's all very rough and rudimentary how much control you have of it. But it's an inexpensive light and it, pa pa it packs a lot of punch. Then the airy light, and don't be, mist don't be confused by the difference in brightness between them because this is a higher wattage bulb. Uh, when you spot flood here, you now have a three to one range as opposed to a two to one range in your spot versus flood. And the, the precision of that circle of light is much more precise in the airy light. And the barn doors have a bit more control in where you are cutting the light. So the airy uses a classic Fresnel, light, a Fresnel lens system and is a little more controlled. Then you get to the Dato light, which is by far the most expensive, but is also by far the most precise lighting control unit you have here. And this has a very precise circle of light and a much greater zoom range. This is over 10 to one. This is a two to one, this is a three to one, this is a 10.6 to one zoom range. So you have a much greater control of that light, plus you have a much more precise control with the barn doors and, again, it might be hard to see on the video, but the brightness drop off from the center to the edges, it's very even, very even, smooth, even illumination, and then drops off quickly outside that circle. So you have a controlled circle of light. And as an added feature on this light, there's a built-in dimmer, so you have another control as well for exposure. So three units, three very different technologies, three different prices accordingly. What's right for you is really determines what light is best, price versus performance.